Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, just before Christmas. Just wanted to say uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. If you don't celebrate Christmas, one happy Friday. Um, also, um, there will be no videos Saturday, Sunday, Monday, possibly Tuesday. Um, here in Canada, uh, the day after Christmas, the 26th is Boxing Day. Um, so, don't know if I will be out and about or, or what will be going on. But, anyways... Back to the game. So here we go. So we are going to invade both Nepal and Bhutan at the exact same time. Both armies have been ordered to go, and here we go. Boom. They are advancing in. Winning the victory here. We're winning over here. Only one bad thing can happen. One, they join the Allies. Two, they join the Axis. Our forces here are moving in. I want this group to head east right when they land. Please go that way. Thank you. So four percent. Oh. We are perfect. Actually, I'm going to say uh, take all, please. You are immediately to be replaced or repositioned on the border there. You are to just make a big push into Kathmandu. Uh, we're still quite a way. Oh, I really don't. Uh, closed economy. Uh, we did service by requirement already. Uh, war economy. You're all good. Um, close air support there. The only one available there. Uh, we're going to go with light aircraft, so you're going to be the priority there. And um, we really don't have a bunch of many options. And we're about to remove Paul off the map. I'm going to start immediately justifying against Tibet. <laughs> How long is it going to take for us to... January 6th. Okay, we don't have too long until we can declare war with them. So we're just going to speed up here to speed... Ah, uh, speed 5. Why not? <laughs> and we have Nepal. So Shank... Oh, okay. So our thoughts of uh, what was going on out here has occurred. So Japan uh, puppeted Uh, Japan. Uh, that's Japan itself. That's another puppet of Japan. Okay. So Japan basically puppeted everybody over here. So our plan is to basically take Tibet, get a nice good front against the Chinese, and then we're just going to push. Now, they probably have better equipment than we do, so that's going to be a bit of a, a, bit of a problem. I'm not too worried. I'm going to move over the majority of our forces to Tibet. I'm going to order him. I want you to be aggressive. Basically, what you're going to do is you're just going to push immediately and as far as you can. You, now that I think about it, your orders are simple. Because the capital is right there. I want you right here and you are going to push just into the capital how is everything going on over here because usually when i start fighting and stuff i run out of i forget about all this 
Perfect. The UK has declared war on Iraq. That was a little unexpected. Uh, we're going to get uh, two, four, five civilian factories. We're going to take those. I'm also going to order both these guys to go now. But obviously, I'm not too worried until the 6th of January. Some more research to do. Uh, you know what? Let's go for this quarter pounder. I was going to see where I need to go to get another slot. I think that's right here. So I gotta get you. Then I've gotta go with. You. Because I gotta go to you. And okay, so expand fighter bases is next. Wow, the world at 91%. that done uh you know what? i'm gonna try and hmm you know, all this is on par i'm gonna get you a moment um instructions going i'm gonna want to beef up a five Get everyone at least five. Kind of want to beef things up a little bit here. Oh, oops. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. Land doctrine. Oof. You want to get that re that reduction on land doctrine going? I totally forgot about all that. Until the local pattern. You are being swapped for you. Actually, I guess I can leave that on. Uh, get a medium tank going. Valentine, the Cromwell, the Comet, the Black Prince. Churchill, which is basically the same as the uh, the Black Prince. It's just basically an updated, upgraded version. We'll go for the, the Crusader. Crusader was a good tank. It actually had uh, sloped armor around the turret. It's pretty cool. I cannot believe the French went communist. October. Looks like we'll just sneak in at the end of this episode and take the bet. So what are we showing? We're showing towed artillery and light tanks. Okay. Why would I do this? Italy declares it has uh, claims on Yugoslavia. Poland refuses. Ooh. So that was Danziger War. Uh, wow, okay, so... Okay. So, Poland technically is not allies with the Amer or with the British. They're in their own faction. So technically, if the Axis were to declare war on Poland, which they can as of now, I believe they have a... Oh, no, wait. So did they say no to... Denzig or, or war? Or did they say no to... Yeah. They did. So, you should be pretty much getting to the point where you go to war with them now. There it goes. I, I had paused it. <laughs> and we're going to watch Poland just disappear. Hungary is going to push in from the south. Uh, they're probably going to move up this way as well. They're smart. Am 
Nope, doesn't look like it. Slowly just watching Poland get smaller and smaller. And as per usual, Danzig, hold out. Every time I end up invading Poland, that is like the biggest holdout. Uh, they still haven't pushed into Lithuania. I don't think they called in their their allies. Oh. Luxembourg joined them. Oh, wow. So Luxembourg joined this faction. So, wait. World Wars? Are, so who who is in this war? Slovakia, Hungary, Germany against Poland, Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia, and Luxembourg. Okay. And that is, yeah, Poland's gone. Or Luxembourg's gone. Uh, gotta upgrade our towed artillery. Uh, let's upgrade our anti-air. We have a 17 now. I think I can add... You can now be an anti-tank, and you can now be an anti-air. Yep. Boom. Uh, what am I short? Tank and anti-air. Whoops. No, anti-air. Anti boom. Boom. There. Happy. Uh, boom. Boom. Uh, boom. So we only have four left. Three, four, five, six. That's seven. We have seven. Four, five, six. Uh, seven. Good enough for me. I think I got a couple extra factories in there, maybe. Belgium is joined. Wow. Okay. This is. Oh. Italy's joined the Axis. Uh, okay. Soviet Union's declared in Latvia. The Netherlands have joined Moes and Uh, okay. So Europe is going a way different way than expected. It's basically the Mesimorphs versus the Axis. Um, Poland capitulated. Okay, something bad happened here. Germany now declared war on the Soviet Union as well. Wow, okay. Um, may I just say, shit is kicking off. They're going to take on the Soviets first, and then they're going to take on the Allies. Oh, wow. And of course, the Germans want us now to join. Uh, oh, actually, that gives us the French commune. Uh, I'm deploying these guys. Put them under a separate army. You. You're going there. The moment these guys are in position, I'm going to agree to this. Uh, Afghanistan. I can't ask you for access, but I can. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. You are being canceled. You are going to go here. I can actually take on some of these guys over here. Come on, get in a position. Uh, you. When you. Oh. I destroyed your thing. Go. Fast. And declare war. Go. I want you to go immediately into the capital. Albania joined the common turn. Oh my god. So basically, we have the Axis versus the common turn at this point. Iraq joined the Axis. Wait. Iraq joined the Axis. But India. Oh, it's the. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I can't join the Axis now. 
because that's going to put me at odds with England. Uh, I mean, I can still fight the... Uh, well, I can still fight at least down here. Um... Oh, I need troops down. I need troops here. Ah, shit. Um, okay, well, once these guys are done here, we're going to take... Perfect. States. Okay, turn. Done. Pause. Of you, I want to take half of you. I'll put you here. The other half of you. Actually, we're going to take the other half. Put you there as well. You are then going to come down here do i even have a navy <laughs> i don't even have a navy so i couldn't even do any real big attacks if i wanted to your job here is going to be to push like so your job is basically just to take territory oh that's you shit your job is to take that territory you gonna extend your front across and I want you to push up initially like so let's rearrange our troops here So since it's the last episode before uh, Christmas, we're going to go a little longer. Wow, I was not expecting this to happen. Wait. So did they call... We get to be called into the war with the Allies, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, the thing for joining them has gone away. Okay. Wait, is it the Americans? That's oh, the French Commune. Alright. Uh, I'm going to do this and say... Actually, I can, I can start my own war with these guys. Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Justify war goal. Uh, I want to take... Uh, yeah, I want to take uh, Leos. <laughs> but if I also right-click the German rank and say... Ask to join faction... Currently, a war with a lot of people. So you know what? Yeah, we're gonna stay. We're gonna stay in our own faction for now. And actually, I'm gonna cancel that justification. I'm actually gonna pivot. This entire force is going on this border. Uh, this chick's military force is being repositioned as well uh, this dude I'm gonna yeah, get rid of all his shit too what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a nice three-pronged military force uh, you are gonna be in the south here you young lady are gonna be here and you are gonna be here you, oh, that's why that didn't look good. You are going to be here. Now, the only way this can go bad is if Iran and Afghanistan, like, join the Axis. <laughs> and I am going to deploy more troops. Uh, all ten of these are actually going to go to him. And, uh, I'm going to click. Boom. There. And our plan is basically to go to war with Japan. We still have 4.6, or, well, just over, or j tiny, tiny bit over 4 million troops. We're going to probably go for 10 more minutes. Paris has fallen. I'm going to start a war goal for some of you. Now, the only problem here is going to be if... They suddenly decide to join the Axis. If Japan joins the Axis because I attack them. 
if that occurs, we're going to be kind of between a rock and a hard place. Um, June. Ah, it's too far away. Okay. So, this is the end of the episode. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, no episodes and probably until Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Uh, obviously, being the week after Christmas. Have a good Christmas. Have a good Boxing Day if you don't celebrate either or. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye-bye.